For my third part of my track, I now need to make my baseline. I'm going to once again create a new track here by pressing plus. Make sure software instrument is selected and press create. I'm now going to select a bass sound. I'd suggest initially using my choice and then you can go off on your own later. Make sure the instrument library is open and click Vintage Electric Piano again at the bottom. We're now going to click on Bass up here at the top. Actually, sorry, that's wrong. You're going to click on Synthesizer, Bass, and you've got a whole set of synthesized basses here. For now, we're going to choose the one that's called Classic Slap House Bass. It sounds like this, so you know what you're getting yourself into. That's what our bass is going to sound like. I'm going to once again input with the piano roll. So I need to go ahead and create myself some empty space Make sure that your pencil is selected as your secondary tool. Hold down Command and click to get yourself some empty space. Just like the chords, we need to make it four bars long. So grab on the bottom of the track where there are arrows until it is four bars in total. You should see the piano roll already, but if you don't, simply double click to get the piano roll at the bottom. You'll also have the notes for this on the board and in your book, but I'm going to tell them to you as we go along. They're going to be a little bit shorter, which means that you're going to have to change some note lengths. My first notes are going to be four A's. So I'm going to find my A. This one is too high. So go below the C3 to find the A. We want it to really sound like a bass. And I'm going to command click in one A. This is much too long. It should only be two of these little boxes in total. So I'm going to grab it and drag it to make it two boxes in length. I'm then going to add in three more A's. So I have four in total like this. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the note B. So here's my note B. Two, ooh. I misplaced that one. So if you do that, that's an easy thing to do. Grab and drag it to the correct place. Or if you really messed up, click it and press backspace to delete. So I need four Bs in total. One, two, three, four. That's the first bit of my baseline. If you want to test it out at this point, you can press play to listen. But I'm going to keep adding in. So my next is my E. I'm going to go lower for this. So find a low E, put in four of them, and then four F sharps. Now an F sharp, remember, is this key here. You should remember that from year eight, Beauty of the Baroque. But if you don't, you can always hover over the note and check that it says F sharp, not F hashtag. Then I'm going to go lower again Actually, I'm not, I'm just going to go up to a G, up to four Gs, three, four, then lower to four Ds. So find my D here, one, two, three, four, then to four Cs, and then C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G. Now this sounds actually a little bit silly and a bit a little bit low. Let's have a listen and I'll show you how to problem solve this. So let's listen first. These last four notes are really hard to hear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these up an octave. An octave means eight notes. So I have a D here, but I also have a D up nice and high. So I'm going to highlight all of this from my D and drag it up. So instead of D2, it says D3 like this. Let's sound this one more time. It should be more audible. And 
and now I'm finished with my baseline. To finish off completely, double click where it says classic slab house base and rename it as baseline, hit enter and you're done. Well done on creating your baseline. You've now got a drum beat, chords and a baseline ready to add in a riff in the next couple of weeks.